When was the last time when you were in no hurry in doing something? For many of us, it is too long. Mahatma Gandhi said, there is much more to life than increasing its speed. We love the speed of life so much so that our obsession to do more and more things in less and less time has become an addiction. Busy is not bad. In fact, if you are busy doing things that you love, then you will find joy and fulfillment in it. However, when people become busy not by personal choice, that's when you reach the threshold of stress. So no matter what your reasons are, if you have no time to do things that you love, then it's about time that you slow down. I'm Aparna, your personal coach, helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. When I became a solopreneur, the rush to get things done was so immense and I thoroughly enjoyed that process. In fact, I still love it. However, in a frenzy to help people transform their lives or helping others, creating a business and putting myself out there day after day, I was pushing myself closer to exhaustion. Life has a unique way of telling us to stop and most of the time that stop or the sign to stop comes as a health issue. So the question is, what can you do to prevent yourself from getting to a stage where your health gets affected? Here are some inspirational ideas for you. These have been picked up from your routine. So this is not something that is related just to me, but to every one of us. Take a listen. The first idea is that you pick up one routine task that you always do and always rush through. It could be commuting to work. It could be attending a meeting on time. Look at what is that task in your hand that you always rush through and consciously try to go about doing it slowly. Be more mindful of your actions and see how that feels. Simple enough? The second idea is that you plan additional time for your tasks. We often underestimate how long a task can take. Even though you have proficiency in doing it, we tend to go wrong sometimes. Then we get frustrated and get rushed into doing things so that we can meet our deadline. If you think a task is going to take an hour, block two hours for it. If you finish it early, you'll be very happy you completed before your time. The way this works is that the moment you know you have enough time, you're not rushing into things but doing it slowly and more consciously. That's easy too, right? The third idea is that you create a schedule of pauses throughout the day. For example, you know post lunch is a slum time. This is the time where we are e extremely low in our energies. Can you meditate at this time? Stretch your legs or walk around your office. Meet few people around. It's also a fantastic time for you to catch up with an old friend. The idea is that you create enjoyable breaks that you are energized when you get back to work. The idea number four is to show up 15 minutes early. Because when you know you can reach early, there is no need for you to rush. Carry a book with you so that in case you reach early and have to wait for somebody, then you can read up as well. The fifth idea is that you create an inspirational board or a corner in your office space or on your office desk. Use this space to create everything that inspires you. It could be an inspirational quote, an appreciation letter, a client testimonial or even an award that you recently received. Look at this space, look at this board area whenever you are feeling rushed or stressed. This idea will give you a reminder that you are capable of doing many great things and that will give you an inspiration to move forward. The sixth idea is that you reflect on your day every single night before you fall asleep. This only takes few moments. Perhaps you can use this time to speak to your spouse or your family member about things that are going wrong or the things that are stressing you out at work. You could talk to them about the hardest part of the day and probably get their opinion on whether you did a right thing or is there another way to look at it. This idea serves two purposes. First of all, you're spending time with your family, you're talking about things that are not going right or things that are stressing you out. The second thing is that it also gives you another perspective to that problem or an issue that you're facing. The thing that is getting hard, maybe they will be able to give you a better advice. The seventh idea, and I've been telling this time and again, is to create a self-care list. See it every day and follow it at least once a week. Make this list dynamic, adding and deleting things that you love to indulge in. And every time you see this list, believe me, you'll end up smiling about the indulgence you've already had. The self-care list gives you a reminder that you are equally important to yourself and you are your priority. Last but not the least, the eighth idea is that you give yourself a yearly vacation and cut out from the work completely. 
actually the more breaks you can take the more better it is for you in india we are blessed to have so many festivals that allows us to do this so utilize them to your advantage that's it from me these are my eight inspirational ideas which i think you can incorporate it easily into your life and learn the art of slowing down remember life is not a race do take it slow and enjoy the ride do you have any other methods of slowing down that has worked for you share it with me in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i am in finally i'd like to leave you with this quote from eric cantor slow down and enjoy life it's not only the scenery you miss by going too fast you will also miss the sense of where you are going and why if you like this video do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you will never miss an update from me thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week bye